send me into the world. Sumamina is his way. Oh, Sumamina is his way. Sumamina is his way. Sumamina is his way. Good afternoon, good afternoon. It is Thursday and of course we are live on ITG Conversations. So the book of Isaiah 6 verse 8 says, Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, here I am. Send me. Mamina ezizweni gizoya gitandaze. Welcome, Simo. Welcome, Tandegile. Uh, I have to be politically correct. We called you that for such a long time. <laughs> but now, yes, welcome to Tandegile. Uh, how are you guys? We good. We good. Yes. We are live. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Osimo, Osimo, you want to say we are nah. We can't see all this. Simo, I should be saying, Excel, who's it? I'm the grand. You lie. You bet your ass. So, um, as I did mention to you guys, this is um, a, a platform that is uh, very spiritual. So, I'm going to ask uh, Sister Tandegile to open in prayer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Matanda. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity that you are giving us. We thank you for being a faithful God through everything that we do, Lord. You are going with us and with the conversations that we're about to embark on, Lord. Be with us that we speak the truth and we show the light of what the things that you want us to do, Lord. And we thank you once again for that we have woken up today to breathe and breathe light and breathe work in everything that we do. All of this we ask in your big and mighty name. Amen. 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 Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tandegile. Guys, today we're talking social entrepreneurship. Okay, so maybe let me first give you an opportunity to introduce yourselves because sometimes I'm a bio and CVs and resumes, they don't do justice. So it's always good to give a person an introduction and, and an opportunity. Jess? <laughs> for this opportunity. but <laughs> Nina again, the Pumagua Mashu originally. I'm also the Kasi girl in Jungle Put Simon Jenae, a shy Kasi Kasi thing. So, the motivation in Kulu is where you come from. And uh, from that background, Yaga Mashu, knowing what the Pumag Bantu Abawaz went to the Ming, we founded a project, Enza, a platform, Ebi Kulumakin. As long as we do what we need to do. 
So I am representing Leo platform Namhlanje. Uh, obviously, the background Yami has been in the tourism and hospitality industry. So at times when you do things, you try and align them to what you know best and see what you do. So while the project ends, it's called Project Enza. We are about doing good and doing good things, not only limited to the expertise of what I know within the industry, but everything else in our success on Pakatwetu. Ngoba says Bulege with the word of the sort and Sanda Jokuti, Ukunukuli yes, works in mysterious ways. Saying Buli Dariam Namplanji Uti, one Peter two, verse nine. You are the chosen by God, chosen for the high calling of priestly work, chosen to be holy people, God's instruments to do his work and speak out for him, to tell others of the night and day difference he made for you. And I like this because you do what you do because you know the difference a lot of people have done for you in your work. And I think that is what is inspired me the social entrepreneurship as a project and so it's spreading that word in doing good from the things that people have also done for you wow 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 that's a mouthful i like how the holy spirit works you know opening a diary here it is just today you know everything is always aligned for his uh, purpose simo you are outnumbered my brother usisi okuluma manje is also from so let's see again what the guy from a clement <laughs> yes yeah, yeah. introduction <laughs> all right um simo waganzama well known as Simo Possibilities. Uh, but today, Ikamalami uh, I am the thorn among the beautiful roses. Uh, the, thorn, the thorn from Clermont, but it's okay, it's all good. Uh, thank you very much, Sizota, for this particular platform. Uh, thank you very much for whatever we do. We need to connect with the men above because I can tell Zenzela Yona, umanga beso kwenza ngokuhlaka ne pakwethu then sizo phuma endleleni eh ngiyabonga i really really respect you sizoda and then bese ngibonga kakhulu eh usisi ujessica um ngithema ngabe ngithi ngiyagoogle izolo ngathi ngiyacheka here and there then ngathola eh into our post ngo 2016 eh i think yeah based ku mark 5 verse 36 eh which said something about trusting instead of fearing. And in Tengi Tsingitsinya poster on Facebook, then there were two people about Kulmeng Awega, but listen, pass our regards to the lady called Jessica. She's smart, she's all that. So now, this is one warm because in part of about two and Bashan Vandele is Mangaliso. Thank you very much. I'm a social entrepreneur, which simply means that um, we are all about promoting social intelligence. Uh, the idea uwenza wuti sikabange gangono because pilem sabin is quite hectic, you know, but we need to have a my thoughts purified so that we can align ourselves because si lamba si shushegi so goes. And then Mrs. Tola sends in they ning, utolu wuta bandu, they are loaded, they have so much money, but unfortunately, Bashawa ilendo wuti kuni vacuum. So social entrepreneurship, it's my game. I can think Jamis and Jungle Bonum Mute Jabole, Mang Bonum Mute Jabole, Gizong as to Malining a bank, no man of a taik, Gentan. Is this a hot thing in a Malining a bank, no Victoric? So you and Tech of Lisa Upwood Simo. Thank you so much, guys, for, for that inter, uh, introduction. So perhaps maybe let's start with. Um, you know, definitions, because there could be someone out there who is watching this conversation and they are trying to figure out what to on a lay social entrepreneurship. I had to go and study last day, keeps now just so that I could, you know, figure it out. And um it's it's been a beautiful ride for me. Um, because I'm obviously used to being in a 
for profit making business. So now the switch over to the non-profit making space because I'm also at a point whereby I'd like to contribute more to social change and contributing more to the society according to you. And it really is according to you. You know, it doesn't have to be an academic. Let me, let me, let me, let me not um, sort of when I see we're talking academics, it doesn't have to be an academic definition. It's just according to you, what is social entrepreneurship? Sand again. I'd like to say to Dr. and everyone who's listening, I like the fact that social entrepreneurship is very linked through to its philanthropy. And yeah. I find that Kunama um, linkages there. And if we look deep into what Phil anthropity means, it says Phil means love. And then Uentro means human. So what we do is because of love and the human part. And Gumnandi Logo, because Tina, my African, Yakulazi, Siayaz learned of being human. Yoni social entrepreneurship, Kate Akal, Isaac and Jikal and Gobatina, Sesi Korn, Inte Veles Kule, Yenzega, Econ, a seaborn. As years have gone by, it has been something that has been formalized. But see, funde kubo no mama o koko o anti o sisi kona 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 e lai suga kona. So to me, a I think I would like to base it on the fact that it's linked to utando and the human part of it because songe we do need in some way or the other to show love and receive love for us to be able to do a lot of things. And then all the other technicalities, is a yeah, yoga, the social entrepreneurship, Iba more visible. But for me, the crux of it and how I understand it is the fact that it is linked to philanthropy, right? And that, if you look at it, it is about love and the human element. So that's what I'd like to sort of say, base it on. Beautiful. It, it begins and it ends with love, as uh, according to you, Tandegil. Uh, my brother, Simo, according to you. Right. Entrepreneurship. All right. Um, in the social entrepreneurship, it revolves around something called Ubuntu, right? We as Africans, we are well known of something called Ubuntu, which I am because we are, right? Therefore, in the day, back in the days, and you'll find that they've forgotten how to help other people. You help not necessarily that you are expecting something in return. Um, there is something which is something which is to do with the fulfillment. When, when you extend that particular hand, when you help someone without expecting anything in return, uh, there is something that you get afterwards, which is the feeling called fulfillment, right? You remember earlier on I said something that when I help someone, when I make someone to smile and stuff like that, when I become the miracle to somebody else, I just feel differently. I feel full as if I'm loaded, you know what I'm saying? So. In the social entrepreneurship, yes, it does have the element of entrepreneurship, but where it starts, when there isn't or without expecting anything in return, and when you do those things, the men above compensates. Venture into this being driven by the so-called Maliga Kulu. It comes from the heart. In fact, you receive messages from the men above. Remember, you said something about the desire, Uguti. I heard the Lord. It's about hearing, you know what I'm saying? So, Uglalela, Uguzun, Kulukulik, something that is so deep, Abandi Bashula, Uguti, Kulukuda, Kulmanati, every day. So, if you can listen attentively and act accordingly, then all of that, it forms part of a social entrepreneurship. All right. So, now both of you actually used to, oh my goodness, what's happening here? Wow, something happened. 
the water engine it just disappeared technology mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah well <laughs> Yay, technology. Yeah, no, it's been one of those days indeed. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys, I'm back. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. All right, okay, cool. Yeah. So what I wanted to touch on is the fact that both of you used to work in a corporate space, and then eventually you decided to venture into this space. So, Tandegile, you, you mm -hmm. left space and you know gravitated more towards the social uh, space what does it take to actually even do that when we're also concerned about sizo pilaganjan go by as my brother was saying go um you you don't know if you actually even are going to have income but because you are driven by what's driving you you know you are confident that indeed you can go ahead but like it must take a lot though most yes. definitely definitely does and um i think the drive comes whilst you're still working you know i think most companies or corporates and your back connect to our kono csis and all of those things every organization will have some way of doing something that is good but a uh, starting this was also because your machine or put team and as part of my 10 f's i always talk about is the fulfillment and um, at the end of the day we can um, do as much as we can and earn as much as we can and lose the earnings as well and you know life has a lot of ups and downs and i've been through all those lives and down um, ups and downs and but one fulfillment is knowing that you're doing something that doesn't take you getting any physical reward but knowing what you can make that difference so um, it was a no-brainer for me, especially with the background, Jobasa Shilo, of knowing Guguti, you want to spread love where you can. And possibly, if it's not just about love, it's spreading positivity in terms of making sure people become the best that they can. Um, I can say I haven't reached to the levels of what I know God has for me, but it does not mean, Guguti, I can't start walking the journey step by step whilst impacting other people to get to those levels. And so um, it was just for me a natural progression to make sure would let me um, take up the space um, and, and use it in a useful manner that will then um, grow others whilst I myself also grow as well. Perfect. What's Simo? Yes, yes. <laughs> A, a, a banking environment, development, mm -hmm. finance, and <laughs> yeah, Satan, yeah. I remember when I got your email, the first time I was like, ah, the <laughs> email. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what did it take for you? Yeah. Okay, I think. All right. Um, yeah. When I was working for the bank, um, I don't really think that I was an employee. Can, can, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. All right. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm saying when I was working for the bank, I was not the employee, right? Um, I was something called a deployee. I was deployed by the men above to work there. But I did not know that when I started working for the bank, because for me, it was all about working and earning a salary at the end of the month. And it was about me wearing a long sleeve shirt, looking proper and being respected in the community because some Fanawagansam is working in the bank, right? But as I grew into something called the spirituality, uh, I therefore realized that I was placed by the men above in that space because the idea was to help people, right? Remember that we were granting people bonds, right? So my role in the bank was more into listening to people more than talking. And then when listening to them, the, my, my role was to 
put the papers together to play around the figures and adjust the figures for them to get the so-called bonds. This is the most important part, Sizodwa. Uh, it, it was me receiving the feedback from the credit control department when they would say, Simo, please be advised that the bond for Mr. or Ms. or Mrs. So and so has been granted. It has been approved. That alone, me sharing those news to the to, to any client, it would make me feel satisfied. And that's where I realized that, oh, my role or the reason why I was at the bank was not about me getting paid and so forth. It was about me helping other people and the feeling that I would feel after helping other people. So that was my take from the bank. Then fast forward, uh, there was something called NCA, National Credit Act, that came into existence. I think it was 2009, if I'm not mistaken. When it came, it made policies to be more stringent. Uh, the bank was starting to decline more than approving the bonds. Then I, I had a strange feeling where I was like not satisfied because I felt like I was the barrier of bad news. Now I was starting to tell people that, the, that their bonds were declined more than telling them that they were approved. That's when I sat down and I said to myself, and I'm now not happy for telling people that they are declined. What more can I do that will make me tell people good news? That's where the similar possibilities came into existence. All right, it's amazing. It's a very interesting story. <laughs> you did not want to be the bearer um, of uh, bad news. I mean, like, <laughs> interesting, Tim, you were a deployee. I wonder if people actually ever take time to think about why they are in um, particular environments, you know? You know, like, right. just reflect and think deeper as to why you are in a certain space. Because these things are never really random. There is always a reason why we are in uh, particular spaces. But maybe that's a conversation for another day. So, mm -hmm. um, you've always been passionate about the tourism space. Um, and obviously, this is how Project Enza was formed. Can you maybe tell us what Project Enza is? And perhaps then touch on what the situation or would be the role of Project Enza currently as we are experiencing uh, this lockdown period in essentially South Africa, the continent, and in the world. Um, so Enza Project Enza, uh, we're about um, doing and doing things that can change people's lives. Um, and when I say change people's lives, it's not only just by even as a tangible, um, because yes, you can say you're a giver and a doer, but sometimes it takes you just sitting down with someone who would understand the different perspectives of what's happening. And being in an industry that was predominantly and still is um, of, you know, the other color um, and the tourism industry kind of growing fast paced as it has been since uh, 1994. Um, I saw a huge need of exposure um, and education. And yeah. it was imperative for us to um, expose, especially Ama uh, educators uh, from the schools, Abaskundisa Tourism and Hospitality, including uh, the universities as well. So we were finding that a lot of the educators were teaching the subjects that they're teaching with any tourism and hospitality, but the actual um, information and the feel um, and understanding of what goes on in the industry, it was very minimal. So whilst I was still in corporate, I'd find Uti, I'd have to expose people to what a hotel room looks like, for instance, what is done there, uh, what is um, the events that happen in conference rooms, conference facilities, et cetera, et cetera. So it all started there whereby people get to understand things when they are exposed to them and get to also experience them and it changes your mind shift altogether. So that's how we started what we did. And obviously when you are and then you have been in the industry, you have a lot of network because a lot of what we do, you can't, we can't do it by ourselves, but we can achieve it with partners that we um, work closely with. So. Um, 
I had to look at the fact that over the years I've only been in, the, in this industry, I've worked with so many powerful individuals that have worked for hotel groups and, and different sectors within the tourism industry. How can those people play a role? Because abanye babo, bayafunu wenza things, but ache, you know, in the voting of kala manjin, zamu wenza wuti, they just want somebody who already has this idea, but they will have some valuable input. And so that's where I saw there was a gap and they always willing to share their expertise. And just by engaging, it changes a lot for individuals. So um, that's what we are doing. And obviously now with a lot of in innovation that's taking place, we now need to look at different ways and strategies of how we are educating, particularly youth and women, as to how are we gonna uh, make it in this new world of technology and information and, and, and really making it out there because now the strategy of how we used to do things is gonna definitely change. I mean, COVID has just shown us that right now. Yeah. All yeah. right, uh, my brother Simo, see more possibilities. Each mm. one, each one, Cassi <laughs> <laughs> Cassiologist, um those are i am the energy <laughs> i'm an african uh, mm -hmm. i'm a global citizen and my hashtags are that i always see when you are when you are posting something and then of course you vosh how i wish we had an opportunity for you to vosh i mean we'll do that at the end <laughs> And you can teach our viewers how they how to actually do evosho, evosho, e evosho, ne evosho, le e funde e multiracial, e bona e le e sem shadwin. See more possibilities. So what what <laughs> what do you do? All right. Um, we promote something called social intelligence, right? Uh, but we recently discovered that we also need to deal with the issue of the emotional intelligence. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, like I'm from the, the township, and when you go around the township, we can clearly see that most of the people are, I wouldn't like to say that they're depressed, right? But they are just surviving, you know, just wake up, do the routine and stuff like that. And in the township, you'll find that most of the people, they don't know their strengths, right? Um, like right now, I feel like I can say, Sis Zodwa Umule, right? Um, and then Sis Jessica, you've got beautiful eyes, right? That, that is something that is too little, but it's part of the deal. It's the compliment. It goes a long way. Sometimes you come across people that, that haven't been told that they are great, you know? people that, 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 that haven't received any compliment and then they die empty simply because we don't compliment each other. So that, that's where it starts. Our role is to help people to discover their limitless potential. So these are the things that we usually do. Um, like you, you, you I'm, I'm sure you know the coffee with the Simo uh, whereby I, 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 I just invite the, the youth and I spend some time with them and have like some sort of like conversations. The idea is to help them to channel the energies, right? Um, so that, 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 that's the role that we play. We, we do quite a number of things. Like for instance, I also spend some time with the ex-convicts, uh, the correction, correctional services, they give me the list of those that are gonna be released. I sit down with, with, with them. The idea is to give them uh, the inside scoop of life because some of others have already left for quite some time. And I also spend some time with the guys that are in movement, um, the so-called power and so forth. We help them to change the thinking capacity and the township whereby we provide insightful conversation. We, like, we guys, we don't talk. We, like, but as Buzani, tiny legal things. Sizodwa, how are you? How are you doing? How do I achieve A, B, and C? So what we do, we always ask those that, that have done well for themselves. We ask them to come back into the township and share the winning formula because the idea is to make sure that we create more 
positivity. We create more graduates. We create more people that are more interested into studying businesses and so forth. So that's our role. Wow, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Just that, you know, to see Zota Umut, I'm like, yay! <laughs> you made my day. Because no one has told me that today, by the way. So can you imagine? It's powerful yeah. because I think we all just walk around not paying mm -hmm. attention because everybody is busy doing their own thing. But just that one compliment can make a big difference. I like that. I, I really honestly like what you are saying, uh, Butu. I mean, I think it's, it's even more important in an environment where people are just surviving because just mm -hmm. by paying that compliment, you just change the whole thing. And of course, yeah, inviting people, as you say, that have made it, but that like, I can imagine me going back to Wamashu where I grew up just to, you know, uh, uh, share my story because it's my story, it's my story, you know, um, no one can dispute my story. And, and, and that obviously will, will inspire a, a lot of people. What I found though, um, in my short journey in this space of social um, entrepreneurship, because we also do have a foundation as Econ, no? Um, yeah. and, and it's, it's, it's sort of fashioned to be like a social enterprise. It's mm -hmm. um, access to funding, you know, all the projects that we've, we are doing, it, it really, it comes from the profit making business and it pours mm -hmm. into the nonprofit making entity. And right. um, it's just a struggle. I mean, just this morning, we hosted a powerful, powerful session, uh, a seminar for the youth because we yeah. want our youth to thrive even during this time, but funding right. dollar law, it's okay. Guy, how are, we, how are you navigating that one? I like what you're saying, is that because at the end of the day, if you start this thinking you will get the support, it won't work. So try to do as much as you can with the little that you can. Um, because uh, most of the support that we have gotten during the journey, I think we started... 2014, um, but with no funding, as you said. And one of the lessons there was don't start too big, start small with the little yeah. that you have and keep yeah. going. And those partners come when they can see, we would say, okay, and it yeah. comes at its own time. But when it does come, it makes even a greater impact. Yeah but it's about starting small with what you have. Jobu Sushila said, with Nina, it's coming from your profit-making business. The same happened to me where I had to take from what I was earning it was difficult because you know, you're taking from what the home is supposed to also be receiving. But at the same time, I had to dig deep to say, God, what are you telling me? If you say I need to do this, I need to do it. And he then, comes through in his own way to cover the patches. So yes, funding is available, um, but Nakona, it's also understanding the processes of how to get it. I found a uh, because I was just driven, I thought, hey, I need to do this, you know? But uh, the process of getting to, uh, to formally register these, uh, the, the entities, um, and making sure what you are compliant enough to be able to get the donors and, 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 and all those supports, you need to have all of that in, in place. And that requires time as well. It requires a lot of education in the process into knowing how to do all of that. So it needs you to be very, very well um, learned to know what is last and And it takes a lot of engaging as well from those that have started it as well. But it's gotta not be a demotivator because a lot of people say, way, you won't find Dololo, but Ingola, with no funding. But those that will join you will join knowing these people did impact. So we'd like to join their own. Thank you. Okay, that, that will, it, it's energizing. <laughs> because I'm sitting here thinking uh, why we have to like spend so much energy so much time resources but again it comes from that space of love as you were saying because even if you feel like I know you know what I'm not sure but then 
Simo, you were very emphatic about the voice from above, from the men above. So you can't ignore it, you know, when it's yeah. when it's just it's there, when it's it's there, and there's there's nothing much you can do about it. So, uh, my brother, funding. All right, fine. Um, let me be brutally honest with you. Um, uh, I, I don't know, maybe like I'm a bit weird. Um, I haven't been focusing more into a funding, right? Um, the, the, the same possibility, it is registered and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I think I, I like to see the impact more than, you know, the, like the couple of friends, right? And what I do, it, for me, it becomes the magnet for other things that I do. Right. Let, let, let me make a practical example because, like, I, I strongly believe that we are talking about um, into this thinking that as of my millionaires, of course, you no. do, yes, you, you you do tiny little things and then allow the men above to work with you. Okay, let me get into the story. Not so long ago, I was at home during this thing called lockdown, right, and. Uh, I, I must be honest, I was kind of like suffocating because Zoda, I have so much energy, right? And this energy was so contained, you know, like the walls around me, I couldn't move, I couldn't do so much. Then this is what I had to do. I called another department, right, uh, Safer Cities, and then I told them that, listen, I want to spend some time with the homeless people. Uh, what do I do? Then they said, listen, you called us at the right time. You know what, like right now, these people that are on the street, they are now becoming a bit grumpy, right? I think that we need someone with your kind of like the approach. Then I uh, gave them the ID numbers and so forth. Then I got the so-called permit. Then I was starting like spending some time with the homeless. What I've been doing, I wasn't expecting even like, you know, I wasn't expecting anything. I was doing out of love because just to see those people laughing, smiling and so forth. For me, that was it. Then... Here comes the magic. While I was doing that, another department called Parks, Recreation and Culture called me and said, hey, listen, we can see what we are doing. We have a plan. We, are, we want to interact with those people, but we want you to facilitate. How much will it be to do that? So like, and I, hope it, it, I hope it does make Not sense. <laughs> When I started, I wasn't expecting anything. And then somewhere along the way, I ended up doing a couple of friends, which means it's the God's grace. So I want to encourage people that when you think about these things, you become magnets, you attract things. I, like I resigned at about 2011. I've never been hungry. Um, God has taken care of me, just like the beds. You remember like this, this, this verse, Matthew, Six verse twenty six that goes like, look at the beds uh, of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into burns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. That's me, Nyapila, through this. If funding is on fitter somewhere along the way, but I'm not there. I'm doing this just for the love of people. Okay, Allah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, if you've got the love for it, ah, la. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So we need yeah. that encouragement because I think, like I was saying, that we sometimes like it's a lot of resources that you we, we, you you need to actually mm -hmm. even for that for starting and yeah, it can only be driven by love. I must say, I think just from you know we've done quite a few things as as Econo Foundation and mm -hmm. uh, we're good because I mean like we know why we're doing this. It's more. For us, it's, that's that's our that's ministry, you know. But I think it's yeah. important to to touch on the issue of funding because also you want if it's a social post entrepreneur, you know, mm -hmm. entrepreneurship. There is an element of business there. So and Not also it. you want it sustainable, hey? Eh? You don't want a situation whereby you have an organization today and then five years down the line, it's no longer moving. So you need to be able to have all these elements in place to make sure, because it's also a legacy kind of um, a building situation, if you ask me. So I think the, the question of funding is important. Let me go to our Facebook page and see what our viewers are saying today. Mm -hmm. Send me, send me. 
Uh, <laughs> is saying that was amazing. He remembered what you posted five years ago. <laughs> and then Mrs. Stoto Kumbi is saying, uh, love is the best. Oh, love is the base and Ubuntu. Oh, I named my daughter on Ubuntu and God, uh, she leaves the name. <laughs> uh, and um, Pumzile Majola, who runs the Econo Foundation, says it is important to know your why. Uh -huh. In this space, uh -huh. it's very really important to know your why. Uh -huh. uh, that's even captured in the academic space when it comes to social entrepreneurship. Well, if you don't know your why, then you're going to have a challenge. Uh, All right. uh, I think in deploy my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Living God's plan, Pansula Lagiti. Serving yeah. purpose through love. Mm. You are a true servant to a better world. That's a compliment for you, my brother. Thank you very and, much. And then, Upoti Payam, one of the deployees at Econ, no? <laughs> saying, after doing everything in our daily lives, there has to be that part of our lives where we give back it's that personal agreement or deal with god we mm. we, ma we make with god fulfillment and blessings hundreds mm -hmm. all right and then of course uh, he goes on to quote uh, i have to say that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> our daily bread you know before we started this uh, conversation i was playing fred hammond uh, bread of life um mm -hmm. because indeed he is the bread of life and so he quotes mm -hmm. first peter 4 verse 10. Mm -hmm. let me check if there are any other questions perhaps because i think it's also important to see if there are any questions so that you guys can respond to those questions mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> Matthew 6, verse 26. God is faithful. Uh, okay. And of course, he says, we walk by faith and not by sight. Mm -hmm. It's the only way. <laughs> I think in this space of social entrepreneurship, it's the only way. You have to walk by faith. It can never be by sight because then you will never get to where you're supposed to get. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so I thought, let me just, I would let me, I'd like to encourage our, our viewers to, to actually ask questions. I think if you have questions, um, please feel free to ask the questions so that we can, I can address it to our um, guests today. All right, okay. So, Tandegile, in terms of impact, what sort of impact are you seeing since Project Enza started? I mean, we are both in an, in an industry that I am also passionate about. You are also passionate about the tourism space, the impact. Oh, I love the impact. And, and it's, it's correct is that it's important to be able to measure the impact. Obviously, we deal with youth in, in between. But um, the impact is always different because Abanye, Bafunum Sebenzi, Abanye, they're still just trying to understand this whole industry on its own. But what I've liked, Akul, is seeing those that have never been exposed to the industry being there and doing the work. Um, I'd like to mention, obviously, Ubuti, based on working with partners, we are then able to, even through the likes of you, Ikono, take on those students, my names are my conferences, are my cool. Abanye Babo, they volunteer, and it takes just that opportunity for them. I'll make an example, for instance, we did one biotech um, type of conference where we got those students to come and volunteer. But uh, in that volunteering, you still um, did some kind of a certificate to say you have worked at this big conference and you now have some kind of tangible experience um, that contributes to your work. So um, I like the fact that most of those that we impact via partners like yourself, they then go home with tangibles to say, 
um, and this is what it was like. Obviously, part of that, we then have to mentor them on the job, which is also very interesting because you get to see a much different attitude of um, 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 some of them come from different mindsets. And when you engage them, and especially in the workforce, because the same youth needs to go and apply for jobs. And I know, especially in industry and tourism, a lot of the entities say they would rather employ uh, for attitude and train for skill because attitude goes a long way. And when we are making that impact, we are able to also tell them these things in the real to say, listen, maybe your attitude is not the right one for this industry. If you be doing this and if you want to go far, you need to start changing how you're going, going to do because these people that you're going to be working with, this is the type of attitude that they need. So the impact has been nice in that you also give them the opportunity, but whilst they're also having given that opportunity, you're able to correct some of the things that they might not see because they don't know any better. They just behind a desk uh, at Turkey or at TVET College or wherever they are, and they don't know what is expected of them. So it's always nice to be able to also engage them uh, during the impact that we are able to see. And that's also being over the years, which has been very nice to be able to see and also getting their feedback in the workplace. expose um, to such a hotel because now you understand a better where do I fit within this mix of tourism? What is it le meaning funubienza and see myself in? So that has been very rewarding um, to see uh, happen. Wow, wow, that's amazing. It's actually very interesting. You know, you mentioned something that one would probably not even think of, you know, ordinarily that the, a, a, a child that is uh, studying tourism, uh, chances are they may not have had an opportunity to even go into a, a hotel and, and, and just get to understand how a hotel functions, let alone an international convention center. So yeah, this is very important. We like what you do. Uh, just to also mention something that I think is very important, the attitude, you know, because it, it really does um, determine your altitude, you know. Um, if you have the wrong attitude, um, you know, chances are you, you're really not going to make it in life, even more so in the tourism hospitality space, you know. When I started my business, I was told that, uh, you know, it's such thankless job so <laughs> you can work 24 hours and chances are no one is going to say thank you so you're not going to come back home crying <laughs> just get on with the program and i've been able to get on with the program ever since you know the, which is why i'm still standing it's that kind of attitude i mean like this morning i i can just say that as far as i'm concerned it was like white like really hectic you know but then I had to switch very quickly because we have these conversations, you know, back to <laughs> back yeah. to, to 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 making sure that um, we we're moving on, you know, because yeah, it, it's it's, a, it's the attitude. I just needed to to amplify that. But one put sim, um, the impact. You know, you've already mentioned some of the things, but I think impact is very important, you know, for us to be able right. to make the impact in what we do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the impact, um, it's, it's, it's there. And um, I'm happy to simply say that uh, I see results uh, day in, day out. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, we, we need more platforms of, of this nature simply because uh, there's so much that needs to be done, right? When you look around, you can clearly see that people are at sixes and sevens. And we, we, we need to unite more. Like right now, it's the trio. It's 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 you, Sis Jessica, and I. Uh, we, we we need to take this thing to another level, whereby we go to Gamashu and it's Gamatego A to a corner corner go corner. That's that the thing called social, social distancing. But if we can touch at least forty nine people or, or or even less, just to help them to think differently, because. 
like right now we are going through tough times, right? Um, jobs, um, we see, we will see more of our, 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 our retrenchments. Uh, the, the economy is kind of like backsliding and so forth. Everyone is confused. We don't know what to do, whether we use the right or the, the left foot or something like that. So our role, this trio, can we agree on getting into one of the townships or any other place, like 10 people, like to, to, to be close to people, then we'll see much more of the impact. That's what we need to do good people. Then, yeah, because I, I strongly believe that people, I, I don't know what to do. If, even myself, I was caught up in a space whereby I did not know that what to do without weddings, what to do uh, without being a, an MC. But hey, through this social entrepreneurship, I'm surviving, I'm okay, I'm sailing right so yeah yeah that's all what i can ask for let's unite more let's create more impact <laughs> let's unite more let's create more impact so like <laughs> really, i really have to ask i really have to have to appreciate because each time i remember when we were supporting one of our um associate friends uh, um last year for for the uh, for the youth but i mean it was obviously linked to immense man fire for if you were just like yeah <laughs> so you know that too much in a spirit yeah. we just we just call you and and you are there and i do believe that us having um you know done that gathering and the information that was shared that day it changed i think it changed a lot of lives especially when it comes to the boy child because i think a lot of emphasis has been on girl children and then the boys left get uh, left out so yeah we are, we are we are heading into july so maybe we need to touch base again with about fire and here would see what is he you know what does he have in mind you know so that yeah. pro probably we can just you know do a a, a follow through on mm -hmm. on 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 that session let me let me go back to our facebook page and see if we've got um any other questions or comments mm -hmm. all right uh no going to webster who was in this platform a few weeks ago talking um about Christianity in Africa, it was very interesting. If you haven't seen it, so I'm talking to the people who are watching us, go back to our timeline or to our YouTube page and check it out. So she says, um, as a nation, if we change small things like our language from jobs to work, mm -hmm. young mindsets will begin to be transformed and the exposure such as organizations give young people and the exposure such organizations give young people will go a long way mm. young people will be able to do more with the knowledge and exposure gained so much respect for jess and simo on the credible work so that's a compliment for you guys so oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, People are yeah. seeing and appreciating what you do. So if it comes from love, honestly, it really does flow. So Upudisbu Masogalapana is saying, when or how will the township economy be unpacked and introduced to our future leaders, Abantuanabed, the township economy, especially for the youth? Do you guys want to touch that briefly on the township economy? Because, I mean, you know, social entrepreneurship is also about, you know, solving social issues, you know, in an enterprise format, you know. So perhaps it is something that should be preached more, you know, in the spaces whereby it's needed so that the, the, the drive and the change comes from within those communities. Right, right. Um, All right, yeah, thank you very much, Siswam. Um, when we talk about the township economy, it's, it's something that is so close to my heart, right? Uh, because we 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 are right there, and you see so many people, and we are some sort of like estates, right? And we we consume most of the time instead of producing, right? Therefore. Yeah. 
collaboration that can en 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 enable such things where we, we, we need to start conversation about producing, manufacturing. Like right now, good people, um, 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 I'll, I'll just make a practical example. Uh, the t-shirt I'm wearing, it has my face, right? This is my face. It's the decision that I took during a lockdown that you will never ever see me wearing designer brands, you know? I, I, I will never ever wear something that is designed from my, by Mr. Soren, so who doesn't know me, who can wear this t-shirt of mine. That's where it begins. Let me love Indogasi Zodwa, let me love Indogasi Jessica, so that we can try our level best to support and sustain each other. Otherwise, if we don't, we'll keep on consuming. So we can work around that. We are not saying that we should not buy other products. Yes, we should, but it, I, I want to wear something written Jessica. I want to wear something written Uzodwa, Uzodwa way to uh, Uzodwa, the enabler, right? Because we have different Zodwas, but this one is an enabler. So those are the things. Let's create our own brands and love them so that we can, you know, like so that we can see the money circulation. Otherwise, we'll, we, we'll forever be the spectators. We'll be looking instead of being more practical. That That is my take. So we can work hand in hand. Th this union today, for me, it's like the marriage. I'm not going anywhere. We're going to be working hand in hand. I don't know, but it's a plea. But I know Sizoto won't, won't say no, it can't happen. And yeah, she's very much flexible. <laughs> like I mean, I'm thinking about Tima Lobol. Lord will take care of that. Okay, it's time again. Um, economy. I know, Guti, one of the things we celebrate is World Tourism Day. And just yes. recently, last year, we got an opportunity to go and have it at a location whereby it's run obviously as a hospitality restaurant, one of the ones that have been winning uh, lots of accolades, um, So mm -hmm. we took the same youth to say to them, you know, you start where you come from as well. It, nothing stops you from doing everything that you've ever dreamt of to world standards in your own community, corner, ekasilako. So um, it's doing things more practical instead of us now only using hotels. Yes, we need to expose them, but we need to also expose them to the same establishments, asebe wakalile or putmexi and the many even kwamashu atizini corner. And and so then from there we plant a seed of saying, okay, we see there's this facility. Maybe now we can start having conference facilities uh, because in Tampa Wena, Utanda Ugubagu space set conferencing so that people can also be exposed to experiencing a conference setup in a township, for instance. So um, I like that, that we mm -hmm. have been able to take them and say, look at tangible examples with people are running businesses and it's possible for you and your business to make it also known internationally and get awards like how Max has um, in his space. And we went there, uh, I know you say me, we were there uh, doing a proper conference um, called Nagamex. So it was giving them a different outlook as to it's not about just but you can also gather there um, and, and, and do things that are more productive than just the leisure part of care. So I think, yes, uh, I, I am really wanting to see how we can grow our township economy um, to really create um, more business people. I think Nonobuntu has also said that we expose them, but let's not talk about jobs pen. With, within the same youth, a lot of them are so creative that we want them to run their own businesses. We want them to be the future hotel owners. And so that's what we're trying to drive. If it didn't happen for me, it's got to happen for them. So that's what we're trying to drive. All right. Perfect. Perfect. So uh, did you want to say something, Simo? All right. Uh, yes. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, now, now that we are talking about this, it, it may look like it's a bit of a detour, but this is social entrepreneurship because it's the enlightenment 
you know, you are helping other people to think differently. Now that we are talking, I foresee something different, Zodwa, a, like a, a, a container, like just a container, it could be like six meter by three, in the township, that container written Econo Enza C, right? Econo Enza C. That container will help the little ones so that they may not use taxes to reach us, right? We need to be reachable in the township, in the neighborhood. That container has to be beautiful. It has to be attractive. It must have your Wi-Fi and so forth. I, like I, I don't believe we can have that container. We 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 can get there as and when we can have the schedule. That is Zodra. You can only see her twice a month. She'll be sitting right there, waiting to listen to other people to convert queries into something tangible. Then another week we have Mrs. Jessica. Then another week it's Putsimo and so forth. Maybe another week we ask people like Abo. Maybe like over 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 Sunday Zungo and so forth. Bob Zungo, could you please go there and just chill and lend an ear? Then that's where we can see impact, right? So we need to be more practical, but it's okay. I was just saying, Enza C, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I also like that, you know, because basically what you're saying is. We need to start building stronger relations with our communities. And, and, and then I think that's where it starts. Once they feel what they are, those relations, and they are stronger, then mm. we can get even more tangible results within our own communities and our gases. Exactly. Amazing, amazing. amazing. It, it's in it's Ikono Enza C. Yeah, Ikono Enza C. I like it. I love it. In fact, I could say, but no, some of, I mean, I, you know, I mean, like, it's not easy. <laughs> I think we need to have a conversation. Then after this, you know, if somebody needs to um, probably um, um, uh, uh, donate the container, it's doable. I mean, it's possible because, I mean, you make time for the things that you love. You make time for for me, for you, for all of us, the three of us here, we definitely will make time for anything that's going to make another person's life better. You know, I think that's just um, uh, who we are. And, mm -hmm. you know, extending ourselves to other people, I think it really comes natural. And it's, it's really possible, you know, it's really possible. Yeah. And I think it's, it's going to be important for us to explore it further and see what can be done. You know, the other thing that I'm taking is, um, you know, uh, making sure that we collaborate more and actually have more of these conversations. So it's a, it's a, for us uh, at Econ or now the profit making entity, it's a resident skill to put together, you know, um, conversations of whatever nature, you know, so it, it is even during this lockdown, it can be done. We just obviously had our youth session uh, this morning uh, for Econo Foundation. And so it's, it's, it really is possible. We just have to do it. Guys, let me allow you an opportunity for a parting shot, whatever that um, maybe didn't come through in questions or um, that you, you, you would like to say as a parting shot. And all, whilst doing that, also share where can you be reached, probably your social media handles as well. Jess, can you heal in? I think I would like to just say once again, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, you know, Joe Putsimo was saying, you know, the lockdown showed us so many things where you, you also got time to kind of really think, oh, how do I make an impact in Benibune lockdown? But thank you for coming up with this platform. What I'd like to say uh, to uh, people that want to get into this kind of social entrepreneurship um, is to listen to your still voice. Um, it's very, very, very important. And what I've also learned is that you need to keep dreaming. And um, I know a lot of ideas in my case come during sleep. So also think about the dreams that you normally dream of because they'll keep knocking and knocking until you start doing what you need to do. So mm -hmm. listen to all those little there's always these little signs indirectly and most oh so um try and listen to all those things and i know a lot of us have been through so much and and as it is a lot of women are going through so much and 
we not only just do this because we're just doing it, we look at all the social ills that we deal with. And if there's a way of helping another woman, another man, it's important. So I always say to them, I am in spite of what I've been through. So give them that hope, whatever you might have gone through, you are and you're bigger than that. Um, stay by being your own motivation. Whatever you've been through, let it be that motivation to keep you going, to get you started, to say, I would have uh, um, overcome this. I think what I also like and I've seen is that in mental diets is so, so important. Lockdown has also shown us how important a mental diet is because a lot of us uh, are my signs of depression. Suddenly I have a pop up and all those sort of things. So um, it's very, very important that uh, your mental diet is in line with what your dreams and desires are. So feed yourself the right attitude and um, say it and repeat it time and time and time again because Usatana will come with his own ways of trying to bring you down, but speak a lot of it, you know, and find a stimulants like books, um, proper networks, um, you know, in social media, I love it, but it's also important to follow the people or the people that only give you the best of you and that you will only get the best of what you want to be, Joanna. So uh, and my stimulants are very, very important. And intentionally, intentionally, I like it because you need to intentionally lift or uplift yourself. And then from that, you are able to further lift others because the more you do this intentionally, the better that it is. So let's continue doing things that are impactful. These are our communities where we've come from, example, it's the same ones that have made great things that we know that we are proud of. So let's steer hope for a better tomorrow together. And lastly, I'd like to say, let's keep doing. And all you do is keep doing. And through that, you yourself, you keep learning as well. But ascend, ascend, ascend. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so thank you so much, Jess. Uh, that was a mouthful. Your social media handles, Project Enza. Siatolagalabu at Project Enza or Wangamati platforms, Facebook, Instagram, um, and Twitter. Right. Perfect. Mental diet. I like that. What's Simo? Your parting shot. All right. Um, Gifuna Ogushuguti. Um, good people. Um, there's enough for everyone, right? Uh, and you are also important. Stop undermining yourself. Stop thinking that you are not enough. We are play your role, play your meaningful role. Um, I think uh, in lockdown, it's fun. There's something different. Uguti. Uh, please yes. look around. Look around to begin a band about five. Onga was with the Ubi blessing, Kubon, right? It doesn't have to be a relationship with us to do it with the Mali, but a band about five also by Niggers the access to Impiloya, Kokona Bezo was of Funda Bakuli, Makoni, and Nasekaya, a Gubakonis, the Polish Liga Tulo, we police a log. Yelena take these kids to his cinema. Cabbage from the cinema as a touch of one about Fana by his cinema by using an Umangabu to name motor, Gubakoning and Sokezeli motor, Iba accessible Tanda Tandega, Konukulunguzo Chabula now, Unkulunku Fanaga smile, Mangabugum Sebenzuak, who at Mangabu to Suya would like you are truly blessed. Now you become pompous or you become arrogant or also by untouchable Tintega. Sondela Bantu, who was a blessing Yako, he was a Sabbath figure in Ogobanya Band. I keep thinking against the sense of Kulkula got time to see Sisupig and Amaswam, Sisusha, the attitude to Sisaka Kunayo. So we need something called attitudinal change. So Nyakela could people would say from now onwards, 
differently. See more possibilities. You are what you see. You are what you eat. As Tanda Nene, I wish you nothing less than what you wish for. All the best, good people. This is our time. Even if I'm going to be saying it's some sort of like a crisis, when your role is to see an opportunity. Vuga saijen. Saister, lapo nga sekai, upaso baba fana, mfana, mwubuga lo unga boni sex objects, ndomba zani, na mtoti bread winner. Mwui paza misa, upaza misi nga nebe fane gifu, sumuzi nga babu ayo, mwaba na gwenu, bwone nga susi fane ugla lwa na. So, please, kutu ya standa neni, sizo bangono. I love you so much, good people. Social media handles? All right. Facebook, Simon Zama, as in S-I-M-O, a small N-Z-A-M-A, Social media hell mong mau pega gu Instagram. It see more possibilities as in S W E M O R E underscore possibilities. Uzong tolang kanti vosho no menin gusho tinyanga aigaga pel. Ang na weke na gum sumblog mong bona unga to elis tombe pelo tate ne number because gu puto ako mufuna season and kwanso kulsan. Wow, wow, that was a mouthful. Mongbona, unga kweli ngo kufunu kutati stombe pela. But also get my number so that we can keep in contact. I just would like to end with a verse here. Elaziwa yuga kulu. Because I do believe that we all have a purpose. So everybody has got a God-given purpose. And the more we try to search that purpose in, in our lives, uh, we will be able to live a fulfilling life. And so when you are fulfilled, it's easier for you to you know, make sure that you pour yourself out into other people because you cannot pour, obviously, from an empty cup. With Jeremiah 29, verse 11, he says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So it is my prayer this afternoon that we all just um, lean in. This verse, for me, it's on my laptop because I need to be reminded <laughs> every day that he has good plans for my life. He wants to prosper me. Um, he wants to make sure which I'm hopeful. He wants to make sure that I have a bright future. So it's it's very important. So I, I'd just like to, to extend this verse to everybody that is watching us this afternoon to say, believe this because it is true. It is true. Um, listen to to that inner voice uh, from God, it, it will direct you always, always, yeah. especially if you are in a space of wanting to assist other people. It, it's very important because when you say, send me, it's important to understand that it, he is the one that is going to be sending you. You, you, you can never send yourself. So yes. with those words, I'd like to thank you very much. Um, Tandegile and uh, Putsimo, uh, it's been a beautiful uh, uh, um, sort of journey for both of you, you know, because I, I know you when you were still in another space and seeing you transitioning to this space and making this beautiful and amazing impact. Also, you know, I always say that sometimes um, it's, it's not really easy to be able to be impactful if you if you do not open yourself up and like sort of allow yourself to be stretched so that as you were saying can you know pour in to you for you then to be able to you know um impact other people's lives so sometimes i think it's it's important for people to understand that you need to consider you know stepping out of your comfort zone just so that you can be able to be utilized as a vessel, you know, because comfort zone, you know, look at, we're having these conversations because um, one is out of a comfort zone. I call my events, I call my conferences. <laughs> we only have platforms to talk. <laughs> so here we are. So with those words, I'd like to actually say thank you very much to our guests this afternoon. My name is Zodo. I'm Simang Umakoche Wagansibande. It has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for joining us to all the viewers uh, on our Facebook live page. And if you obviously missed the live offering, you can get it uh, on our YouTube page, Econo Thrive Global. So we will be meeting again next week. Thursday, much love and appreciation. Yo, sang a contain name. Yeah, Econo ends a C.
Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. <laughs>